An aluminium rod has a length of 50 meters at 300 Kelvin. Find the temperature at which its length would be 49.9 meters. Given the alpha L value, the linear expansion coefficient of aluminium is 25 times 10 to the minus 6 Kelvin inverse. Now we might be familiar with most of the data like the length and the temperature, but we might be wondering what is alpha L? What is the meaning of linear expansion coefficient? Well, it just means that if you have an aluminum rod of one meter and you heat it up and increase its temperature by exactly one Kelvin, then the rod would expand by 25 times 10 to the minus six meters. That's the meaning of this number. And similarly, if you were to cool it down by one Kelvin, decrease its temperature by one Kelvin, then the rod would shrink in size by exactly 25 times 10 to my minus six meters. That is the meaning of alpha L. And we have discussed a lot about this in a previous video. So if you find this a little bit confusing or maybe you require more clarity on this, it would be a great idea to go back and watch that video first and then come back over here. All right, so with this, I want you to pause the video and see if you can, you can use this information and logically, logically try to solve this problem. All right, let's solve this. Let's first write down what's given to us. We know that the length of the rod, the length of the aluminum rod is 50 meters. Here, 50 meters. And the temperature right now, the temperature right now is 300 Kelvin. Find the temperature at which its length would be 49.9 meters, which means the, which means the initial length is 50, the final is 49.9, so the change in the length, that's important for us, the change in the length required would be, let's see, how much is that? 49.9 minus 50, and that would be minus 0.1 meters. The minus sign is just telling that we want the rod to shrink in size, that's all, nothing else. So we want the rod to shrink in size by 0.1 meter. The question now is to what temperature we should cool it down, right? Because we want to shrink. Okay. The first thing we'll do is try to connect delta L, temperature, length, and alpha L, everything. We'll try to build a connection between them. And the way we like to do that is we can say delta L equals alpha L. Delta L equals alpha L when we have one meter long wire or one meter long rod and the change in temperature is one Kelvin. But what if we had two meter long wire? What would be delta L in that case? Well, if we had two meter long wire, we could assume it is made up of two one meter long wires and each one would expand by delta uh, alpha L and therefore the total expansion will be two times alpha L. Does that make sense? So the total expansion will be twice. Similarly, if we had three meters, the total expansion would be thrice. If we have L meters, let's do it in general first. If we have L meters, then the total expansion would be alpha L times L. Oops, times L. Oh, that makes sense, right? But this would be for one Kelvin rise. What would happen if we had two Kelvin rise? Oh, this whole thing would be doubled. What if we had three Kelvin rise? Tripled. What if we have delta T Kelvin rise? Ooh, in that case, we would just have to multiply this by delta T. So now that we have this connection, let's see what we know. We know delta L, we know alpha L, we also know L. We just have to now calculate delta T. So we have now reduced the problem to mere algebra. So whatever follows, you know, no longer physics, is just algebra. So how do we extract delta T from here? Well, we just divide on both sides by alpha L times L. So let's do that. If we divide on both sides by alpha L times L, we get delta L divided by, oops, delta L divided by, I want pink color, alpha L times L, and that would be equal to delta T. And now we can just substitute. Delta L is 0.1. You can substitute minus 0.1, we can do that, no problem minus 0.1 meters divided by alpha L is just 25, 25 times 10 to the minus six Kelvin inverse times L and L is 50. All right, so let's just quickly solve this. What do we get? <clears throat> by the way, this is 50 meters. So the meters and meters cancel. 
we can take the 10 to the minus 6 upstairs. That will become 10 to the plus 6. 10 to the plus 6 times 0 0.1. That will be 10 to the power 5. So we can write that as 10 to the power 5. So 1 and 5 zeros divided by 25 times 50. So <clears throat> 1 0 cancels. 25 goes 4 times, so we get 400 divided by 5. That gives us, oh, there's a negative, by the way, there's a negative sign. So that gives us minus 80 Kelvin. What does the minus sign say? Well, the minus sign is just saying that we have to decrease the temperature by 80 Kelvin. And that makes sense because we already discussed that we have to cool it down. So we have to decrease the temperature by 80 Kelvin. But the question is, what is the t final temperature? Well, the current temperature is 300. We need to decrease the temperature by 80. So what is the final temperature? Well, let's just write that down. Make some more space here. All right. So the final temperature would be the current temperature 300 minus 80. And that would be 220 Kelvin. Ta-da! That is the answer. So that is the temperature at which the whole thing would shrink to 49.9 meters.